Friends, let me ask you an important question. If you have to wash all of the dishes meticulously, in detail, making sure you scrub every little corner of every little plate before they go into the dishwasher, then what on earth is the dishwasher for? Seriously, I don't, I don't understand it. If you have to wash the stuff before it goes into the dishwasher, which is called, by the way, a dishwasher, then why have the dishwasher in the first place? It's a good question. It's a good question. And the reason I, I bring it up is because in the last apartment, the, the dishwasher was old. It was not so great. In this house, the dishwasher is, I don't know, probably also old, but also not so great. And I, I run the dishwasher, and before stuff goes in, I make sure that there's no, there's nothing stuck to it, ever. Never anything stuck to it. No crumbs here. Make sure the crumbs are taken care of. But when they go into the thing, and it comes out, it's kind of, it's kind of Russian roulette. Kind of a bit of a crapshoot. You have no idea if the things coming out are clean or not. And uh, I just pulled out some plates, and half were clean, and then half had like a weird film on them. One of them had what looked like spaghetti sauce, which is just strange because I don't have any, I don't think we've eaten anything that had any sort of tomato no. based stuff on it. So it's been a little, little confusing, a little upsetting. I mean, I continue to use it, but it lets me down on a weekly basis. Hello and welcome to Wednesday. And let me say welcome to Gray Vlog. It's Gray Vlog because I'm wearing gray. I don't know why I dressed in all gray today, but I got gray shorts, a gray shirt, and I'm actually I'm not going to show you, but I'm also in gray undergarments. I am matching. If I had a gray hat, I would be all set, right? You don't seem as impressed with me. Um, it's it's late. Uh, we're starting today off um, at the at the end of the day. We're getting ready to make some dinner a little later than I would have liked, but we've been uh, I mean we've been busy. Once again, hit the ground running, and we hit the ground running. Now the good news is um, I got past a huge hump in terms of uh, vlog work that I needed to do. I know I said the other day I've been working on Arizona stuff and I got um, kind of the harder stuff out of the way and now it's just kind of smooth sailing down to the end. The other thing is um, when vlogs are behind, a lot is affected uh, more so than you think just for the fact that I have a huge laundry list of stuff that has to get done eventually. It's not stuff that's, I guess, needs, but there's a lot of cool stuff that I'd want to you know, get around to accomplishing, and I just, I can't because I'm always putting focus on other things because we're always so busy. Now eventually things do level out and I get the time to take care of one or two, and I'm sure someday we'll get everything else squared away where it's like, oh, I can just tackle the entire list, but the list has got all sorts of interesting things on it like fixing the website. The website has been broken for quite a while. Um, we have got so many ideas for shirts that just never get completed. In fact, um, I was picking out a memorable moment for tomorrow and uh, I came across a really good one from Endless Ocean which was about Fargothics. And whenever I played it, I was like, man, I had started a Fargothics shirt design like a while ago and I was like, this would be a perfect time to release that shirt. And I went and checked and the shirt design was actually done. I had just never gotten around to like saving the file as you know the necessary proportions or whatever for the shirt. That was it. So I went ahead and did that. But there's so many like ideas that are written down for shirts and um, other things like that that we just haven't been able to get around to because you know you have other more important things to do. And I know it's like that for everyone but it, it happens in our lives as well. We have all sorts of fun cool things. Uh, <coughs> cookbook um, you know, that just fall by the wayside because there's so many other things that have to get done. The good news is they're getting done. Anyway, um, cooking chicken. I don't even know what we're making, just chicken and broccoli. I mean, they're not going to be together, but... Well, they could be. That's trying. not the plan. If you put them in the same pot and you put, like, soy sauce or something, it That's would be... not my plan, though. I have a different 
Alright, well your planes are usually better than mine anyway, so I'm, I'm trusting you. Anyway, um, I'm going to continue to unload this godforsaken thing, hoping that at least 70% is actually clean, and then we'll have dinner. Wow, that's beautiful. You should clarify that broccoli should look burnt. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you've we've I think we've shown that on the vlog before. Actually, um, Mal did the broccoli where you burn it. I mean, it's it's really it 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 actually creates extra flavor. You burn it and you use lemon with it, mm -hmm. and it's honestly it's really good. Um, I've had that uh, I've had that before, and it might be my favorite way to uh, to have broccoli now. Uh, and as we finish up this evening, we are watching more Full Metal Alchemist. I don't think we've mentioned that since we got back from the trip, but since we got back, we've jumped back into it. We're in the final season. We're going to be done in just a few days. And after we finish it, there is a movie that you have to watch that kind of like wraps it all up. So very soon, within the next few days, there's going to be um, our fourth season review for it. Also a review of the movie and kind of talking about the the series as a whole. So... If you're into Full Metal Alchemist, stay on the lookout because that'll be out very soon. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?